With Website.com, you can quickly and easily create your very own website with no coding experience. In this video, I'll show you how step-by-step -step, to create your own website for your own business with Website.com. Hi everyone, today I'll be walking you through creating a website for a law firm. We're going to be creating a website for our law firm, MacArthur Law Group. So we're here on lawyer.website.com and the first thing we can do is click create your website today. So that takes us to our themes page and we can choose a theme to use for creating our website. I like this one, the Michael Law Group. So this takes us to a theme preview and if you do like this, you can go up to the top right and click sign up and make your site like this. Now we're on step one where we can choose our website address. We're going to be going with MacArthur Law Group. So I'll enter that now. The next thing we can do is check the availability. You can see that MacArthurLawGroup.com is available. So we'll go ahead and click next. On this page, we can choose our plans. We're gonna be going with a professional plan, which is our most popular. After that, we can fill out some login and payment information. I'll do that now. So once we've filled that out, we can go ahead and click create my account now. So on this page, you can see our thank you for choosing website.com message. And we also have two links, one to view your website now and one to build your website now. For me, I'll take a short break to wait for my account activation email. So now that I've received my account activation email, I can click build your website now. And you can see that we've been taken to the website.com web editor. And before we get started, it will take us through a quick tour. So let's go ahead with that. The first part on the tour is you can change the color scheme to fit your website by clicking on design and then color schemes. Step two is you can edit various elements of your page by clicking on the corresponding elements. Step three is your navigation menu up here. So you can go up here to navigate between the different pages of your site. Step four are your undo and redo buttons to redo the changes you've just made. Step five is your publish button, which you'll hit once you've finished editing your website. And finally, we have our help section over here where you can access our YouTube channel as well as a few other tutorials. So now we're here on the website.com web editor. The first thing we're going to do is change the logo in the top left. So you can see we have Michael Law Group where we registered MacArthur Law Group. So I can change that by clicking on Michael and in this menu choosing edit text. So I'll simply change Michael to say MacArthur. And it's that simple. This here is our text editor where you can make different edits to your text, such as font size, font type, colors, bold, underlined, you name it. The next thing we'll be doing is changing this image here in the middle. This is actually a slideshow which consists of a selection of three images. What we're going to be doing is clicking on this and deleting this. Now what we'll do is add an image. So to add an image, we can go over to the left on the sidebar and choose image in the add section. So I'll choose image and here you can see we have our image menu and we can choose to either upload our own image or select from one of our many stock images. So I'll go to stock images first and how about I scroll down to law and let's use this image here. You can see I have it here on my mouse cursor. So we'll sort of put this in the same place as the slideshow. So I'll click and drag this and move it there. Perfect. Right now I'll also highlight a few items about our editor. The first thing is up here in the top left we have our mobile editor. So I can click on this and that takes us to the mobile editor page. So here we can change what our website will look like on a mobile screen. I'll go into that in more detail later. We'll go back to the desktop editor. We also have an add section over here, which you saw me go to, to add the image. So if I click here, you can see we have a multitude of things we can add to our website. 
We also have a design section here where you can choose different designs for font styles, backgrounds, and also the color schemes of your page. So the color schemes are different colors that make up your page. So I can choose these and you can see the colors are changed on my page. These colors have all been created by our website.com web design professionals, so they're guaranteed to look good. Right now, I like the template default theme, so I'll stick with that. What I can do now is take this text here and delete it and I'll replace it with my own text. So I can click on it and in this little blue menu, choose the trash icon. What I'll do now is go to the add section and choose text. In the add text section, you can visually see the size and different properties of the text that you're going to be adding to your page. They will all be matching with the template, but if you don't like one of these, don't worry. You can still add them first and customize them using our text editor. So I'll add the paragraph one text. You can see I have that here. And what I'm going to be doing is clicking and dragging on it to increase the size of the text box. So you can see it's surrounded by these little dots here. So I can simply click and drag on these to increase the size. So I'll move this over here. Now I'll click on this again and choose edit text. And what I'm going to be doing here is copying and pasting in text from an external document. So to do that, I can simply highlight this text and open up my external document. And you can see this here, I have my external document. And I'll copy and paste this text in over the this is the paragraph text here. And there you have it. You can also customize this text if you want by clicking on it and choosing edit text. And this gives you access to our text editor. The next thing I'll be doing is changing an image using an uploaded image, and this will be on our family law page. So I can access the family law page by going up here to the top left and clicking on pages and going to our navigation menu and choosing family law. So I'm going to be changing this image here. So I'll click on this and in this menu choose change image. And instead of going to stock images this time, I'll choose drop files here or click to upload. This will open up my finder menu in my website. And here I have my lawyer JPEG. So I'll open that up and use this image. And it's that simple. The next thing I'll be doing is going to the contact us page. So I'll click on pages and go to contact us. And what I'm going to be doing now is adding a Google Maps app. So to add that, I can go to the add section and down here, I can go to Google Apps and I'll choose Google Map. You can see I have this here. So how about we add this underneath everything down here. So now I've added this Google Maps app here and to change the location displayed on the Google Maps app, I can click on it and choose settings. This will open up the panel box over on the right side and I can input the address here. And there you have it. The next thing I'll be doing is adding a blog page to the website. So to add a page, I can go over to the pages section of the sidebar and choose add page. Now in this menu, you can see I have different categories. I'll be choosing the blog category and I'll be calling this page blog. And here you can see we have our blog page added to our navigation menu. And I'll quickly add a new blog entry. I can do that by going here and choosing new blog entry. And I'll put in some information here. Click save. And you can see we have our first blog post here. Now what I'll do is arrange the menu so that blog is before contact us in the menu. To rearrange the menu, we can go to the pages section of the sidebar and here you can see we have our blog page here and to simply change the order of our menu, we can click on this little icon beside it and drag it above the contact us page. And now you can see those changes are reflected in our menu. The last thing I'm going to be doing is changing the mobile version of our website. So to go over to the mobile editor, like before, we can go up to the top left and choose this button that looks like a mobile phone. And you can see that we've changed it to the mobile editor. So what I'll do now 
is go to the contact us page and we can just go page by page and ensure that they look proper on the mobile editor. So you can see that my Google Maps app is coming off the page right now. To change this, I can click and drag and move it down and also resize it to make sure that it fits on the mobile screen and within the guidelines. And if I scroll up, you'll see that everything fits within the mobile guidelines. Now we'll go over to our family law page because we changed the image there. And that one is already scaled because we simply changed the image instead of adding a whole new image. So if we scroll down, you'll see that it all fits. Finally, we'll go to our home page. And you can see that because we added a new image here, it's off the screen. And we also added a new text box here. So that's also off the screen. So we can change this by clicking on this and moving the size down. But now that's also cut off some of the parts of the image. So to change this, we can click on it and choose pan and zoom in this menu here. And we'll zoom out and make sure it all fits. Finally, we'll move this text box here, the one that we added of our own copy and pasted content, and we'll change the size of this as well to make sure that it fits. And there you have it. If we scroll down, you'll see everything fits on the mobile screen. And that's it. We've taken a pre-made theme from lawyer.website.com and converted a little bit of the content to fit our own theme, such as changing the logo and adding a few different images, as well as a little bit of copy and pasted text from an external document. Before we can hit the publish button, there's one last thing that we have to do. We have to enable the mobile pages for view. To do that, we can go over to the left sidebar and click on Pages. And here we can choose Enable Mobile View. We can individually choose the pages to enable, or we can enable them all at once by clicking on this button here. We'll get a confirmation and click OK. This website is now good to go. So what we can do is go over to the Publish button in the top right and choose Publish and then choose All Pages. If you have any more questions, feel free to check out our other tutorials on our YouTube channel or contact us. Thanks for watching.